In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the shake effect. To begin, drag the video you'd like to use to the composition panel to create a new composition. Drag the clip's end to where you want the shake effect to start. Back up in the project panel, drag another copy of your video above the original on the composition. Then drag the copied clip starting point so that it starts where the original ends. Next, go over to the Effects and Presets panel. Type Motion Tile into the search box. Drag it onto your top clip. Change the output width and height to 300. And you also want to check the Mirror Edges checkbox. In the Effects and Presets panel, search for a Transform. Drag the effect onto your top clip. Then search for Slider Control in the Effects and Presets panel. Drag that effect onto your top clip as well. Next, select your top clip on your composition. Then press the P key on your keyboard to reveal the position property. While holding down the Alt key, click on the stopwatch next to position. Type this formula into the expression box. Once you're finished, position the time at the start of your top clip. Collapse the top clip's properties and then expand them again. Expand the effects dropdown and then expand the slider control so that you can see the slider property. Click the timer next to slider to create a starting keyframe. Change the slider's value to 100. You can increase this value if you want a bigger shake. Move the time head to where you want the shake to end. Change the slider's value to 0 to create an ending keyframe. Okay, and now we have a nice looking shake effect. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.